It's Walt, 101 WKQX. We're here at Lollapalooza 2014, and joining me all the way from Australia is Jaguar Ma. Guys, introduce yourselves. Hello, my name is Gabriel. Jono. I'm Jack. Well, yeah. welcome. How are you enjoying Thank Lollapalooza you. so far? I know it's just getting underway, but... Yeah, it's cool. We've only been here for about half an hour. But um, since then, <laughs> since then, it's gone from overcast to sunny. Yeah, so, so it's, it's been it's a bit moving, of a roller coaster ride. Moving in the yeah. right yeah. direction yeah. too. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, so I've, I've been listening to Howling for the past several months, and honestly, I love the record because I can't classify it. Okay. You know, it's like it's electronic, yes, but it has an old soul. There's definitely some old vibes going on there. What kind of stuff did you guys listen to growing up? You kind of summed it up there. I mean, a lot of electronic music to keep it quite broad. Right. Uh, and a lot of soul music to keep that broad as well. Yeah. You know? And a lot of the soul music is actually from sort of around this this part of the world, you know, a lot of Northern Soul and yeah. Motown and right. um, chess records, yeah, and stuff like chess that records, yeah. all that, all that classic stuff from which came from you know around the South, a lot of South Michigan, um, uh, U.S. records stuff as well, right? Um, yeah, so well, it comes across. It's a great blend. I don't think I've heard that blend before, but you just put it on and you feel contemporary, but yet there's something comfort comforting about it, and uh, you want to sing along. Songs like Come Save Me, uh, they, they feel like a, a natural. I, I'm, I'm hearing a little Beach Boys influence in that. Would I be wrong in that? or No, yeah. you wouldn't no, be wrong. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I think the amazing thing about, you know, being a like music listener in general is the fact that you can just pick and choose whatever you want, and there's so many beautiful bands that, you know, like the Beach Boys, or, you know, or, you know, obviously the sort of Tamla Motown, or like, I think, yeah, we just kind of loved everything. And we just, I guess we wanted to try and represent that in, right. in the record. So now, nice. in the beginnings, I read that you guys kind of started uh, like a, in a performance project, I guess it was, where there wasn't really members of a band, but there was like a collective that would play. And then suddenly yeah. this combination hooked up and yeah. it started to click. Is that fairly accurate or how yeah. did about? Sort of, yeah. I mean, the, I think there, was, there were two sep very separate stages, you know. Uh, Gab and I first started playing music together in like a, a collective, but then we kind of broke off from that and started writing music together. And that's really when Jaguar started. That's when we wrote Come Save Me together. And Jack joined us when we are in France right. uh, recording Howlin'. Um, and that's when it became a band, you know. Right, um, so Jack, where are you from? I'm from Australia as well. Oh, okay, so, uh, but yeah. you met them. I was living in London for a, a long time yeah. before they moved, uh, made the move, but yeah. Got gotcha. you. Uh, it seems to me like Australia is really happening right now. There seems to be a ton of really great bands, I mean, like uh, Tame Impala, I mean, Vance Joy, Atlas Genius, on and on and on. Yeah, uh, yeah it's exciting to hear that. I mean, yeah. we, a lot of people keep saying that. I mean, we're, we've spent the last two years in London, so uh, we get that a lot there as well. A lot of people right. are talking about, you know, what, what's in the water in Australia, all this sort <laughs> yeah. of stuff. And, I mean... <laughs> To be honest, it's it's kind of a hard question to answer. Like we don't, re you know, because you you come from that, we can't be objective. Like from yeah. the outside looking in, it's right. it just is what it is. Like we grew up there, and the, we always played music with, and and bands always were friends and hung out at the same places, and it's just a natural progression from from the the world of music that we we're growing up in in Sydney, and and now it's cool to see all our friends as well and all the bands that we we're friends with. Yeah, kind it's, of, it's definitely yeah. exciting because the mu the caliber of music coming out of there is just higher than it seems in a lot of other places in the world. That's great. Well, there's always there's always good music from everywhere. Yeah. I, I think, but I think especially in, in Australia, maybe it's because, I don't know, with like a more of an online presence or something, people are starting to actually discover more as great uh, music, you know? I, I think that's probably true, um, right? Yeah, and I, and I think like what, you know, positive like reinforcement always makes people better and better and so like the fact that people are saying oh australia's got this great scene now it's going to just push people even but you know further which is cool so you've played a lot of festivals a lot in the europe and australia have you done mm -hmm. many in the states not really we, like, we, did, coachella, we did coachella which is a pretty big yeah. one <laughs> sure and uh we did south by okay yeah. uh and then we've done a few other smaller shows Small around ones. in like, you know, um, New York and, and Columbus and, and San Fran. Uh, but, you know, this is a really big deal for us yeah. to be playing Lollapalooza because, you know, we've known about this festival since we were kids. Right. And um, so this is like a big bucket list for us. That's awesome. This is a, an iconic lo location to do it. Yeah. The weather's yeah. going to be great. You guys are, next week you're doing another one. Uh, 
Outside Lands in San Francisco. Looking forward to that one. Yeah, yeah it should be cool. Yeah, every time we play in San Fran, we have a really, really good time. It's, yeah. It feels like when we play there, like there's a real audience uh, a performance kind of appreciation going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. So what's a Jaguar Moss show like? Because I've never seen you guys play live before. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, well, you'll find out in about an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. What's uh, what? What are the plans? Uh, uh, more music. Um, Helen's been out for a little bit. Um, yeah. I mean, we've been working on some remixes and, and stuff like that. Um, and so there'll be a few more releases like that to come out. And then, yeah, uh, we've we've just started working on the next record now. So, so after after Lollapalooza, we play uh, Santa Monica Pier and then um, Outside Lands, obviously. Then we go back to the UK, do a couple of shows, and then we kind of go back into studio mode, which we're really looking forward to. Fantastic. Well, I love the path you guys are on. I look forward to hearing more music from you guys. Thanks for picking the time to hang out with us. Thanks so Thanks much for having us. Awesome. Thanks. Right. Jaguar Ma. Woo! Yeah.